Good morning guys, Luis here. It's Monday, July 22nd. Didn't do a video over the weekend, but decided to do one today. So not sure if you guys are out prospecting at this time, but if you're on the East Coast, you should be. It's already nine o'clock in the morning. So prospecting for two hours at least every day needs to be done. So I'll give you a heads up of what happened last week. I prospected for like 16 hours total and um, I think Thursday, Thursday I did um, circle prospecting or canvassing a neighborhood and um, called over 500 neighbors, nothing, but I have a few potentials for down the road that they will be selling in six months or the new year. So the important thing about prospecting is Every time you get somebody like those, like those folks that are interested in selling down the road, well, you start staying in touch. Add them to your CRM, which is extremely important. <clears throat> and then uh, just follow up. Follow up is probably the second most important task in prospecting. So A, you gotta, well, or one, you gotta prospect for new leads every day. And of those new leads, you gotta add them to your CRM. And then the second task is just, just to follow up with them. <clears throat> Most people don't even follow up after the second call. So if you stay focused and you continue to push through and keep on plugging away, you could at least have a meeting with these folks down the road, but you have to follow up. If not, they won't remember you. So the trick is add them to your CRM. Since you have the address, <clears throat> send them a thank you card. And then keep on touching them every single month until they're ready to go. And then you hopefully set yourself up to be a potential candidate to interview for the job of selling their house. So anyway, it's not that hard. I know it's uncomfortable, but if you don't get uncomfortable, you're not growing. And um, you should continue to keep on pushing. So so basically, if you're too lazy to make calls or to prospect, then you shouldn't be in this business. It's a tough business and it's extremely frustrating if you don't get in front of people. And that's why most agents and realtors actually quit within the first year, first couple of years because they don't generate enough income, enough clients to continue to pursue their own personal dreams and why are you going to go back to I guess corporate America when you could spend two four hours a day prospecting and then going on appointments afterwards to potentially have a better lifestyle than if you were at a nine to five job so I challenge you to continue prospecting follow me I hope and um, we could sell, set each other accountable on prospecting, especially if you're doing cold calling, because I think cold calling is one of the most important lead generating sources out there, just because you get to the client immediately, as opposed to sending letters and postcards that you're just waiting on people to call. You should be proactive and calling them first, because then you never know. Um, say, for example, Friday, I had no appointments for this upcoming week, but Friday I made, I was on the phones for three hours. I actually have three appointments set up this week. So you have to consistently set at least one appointment a week, 52 appointments a year. And if you could close 50% of those appointments, that's 26 listings a year. That's pretty good. That, that's better than the average agent. The average agent, I believe is one listing a month. And that's including the big hitters to people that don't do generate any business. <clears throat> so that's like the average on the bell curve. So do you want to be at least better than the average? Well, continue calling every day. Try to get two appointments a day. Set yourself a goal of making 20 contacts a day. Even if they're not interested now, at least try to build a relationship with them for down the road. You never know. Maybe they will send you some referrals because of your 
because of your dedication into creating a new client. So you never know. Just continue plugging away every single day, two to four hours a day. Cold calling will help you get to where you are. And I'm here to prove it, prove it to you that daily cold calling will actually change my business and my life. So I know I'm in the early parts of it, but um, I could see it changing. Every week now I have appointments, as opposed to before when I was mediocre and I was scared of making calls and prospecting. So you gotta get over that hump. You just have to do it. You just have to be in the right mindset and just push on through, all right? So if you need any help, feel free to comment or Send me a private message and I could uh, help you get started. All right. Well, anyway, good luck prospecting today and get those 20 contacts and set two listing appointments and get a listing a week. Come on. I know you can do it. Let's go.